Now let's see another type of signal which is very important signal it is called gate signal so this gate signal is defined as G of T here G A B here you can see A B A B means the interval of this gate signal these A and B are the constants on the time axis so this defines the interval that it is between A and B so G of t is equals to u t minus a minus u t minus b so u this u denotes the unit step signal we have seen them u t minus a means the unit uh, step signal shifted by a and this unit uh, step signal shifted by b a and b are constants so see here the graph of ut minus a we have seen uh, them earlier it has been shifted by constant value a on the right side and this by b and its amplitude is 1 okay so if i subtract this ut minus b signal from this ut minus a signal then here i am taking b greater than a so here you can see this dotted part if uh, I subtract this part ut minus b if uh, here I have uh, let's draw this uh, this ut minus b on the same graph so b will come somewhere here if it is greater than a then it would be like something like this so if I subtract this if I subtract this from ut minus a then I will get this gate signal a minus b it would be of rectangular shape between a and b so this is the gate signal defined between A and B. So its value is 1. Actually, its value is 1 between uh, A and B and except uh, uh, at other values it is 0. So if I multiply, I am going to tell you very important property of this gate signal now. If I multiply this uh, gate signal with uh, any signal, then uh, it will become zero on, in all the values which are outside this interval a and b and uh, that uh, signal will be unaffected or its values will not change within the interval a and within the a b interval so let's see this how does this happen here i am taking a sinusoidal kind of a graph so <clears throat> these are the a and b points here so now i am going to multiply this signal with this gate signal uh, between a and b it has one value and it has zero values at these points so if i multiply the corresponding values multiplying two signals means multiplying the corresponding values like multiplying this value with this value multiplying the value at a of this signal with the value of a of this signal so in this way it is multiplied so you can see at all the values which are less than a okay since it is zero gate signal is zero in all the values uh, for all the values less than a and greater than b so for this signal also with values which are less than a and greater than b the resultant signal here is the resultant signal product okay this is f of t into g a b okay g a b of t so this is zero in this interval but in the interval a b it's been uh, it is multiplied with one at every value so it is not changed so the shape of this curve remains same in this a b interval okay if it is even if it is negative then since uh, suppose this is minus 3 let's take an example if it is minus 3 if minus 3 is multiplied by 1 then it will give minus 3 if plus 1 is multiplied by uh, plus 1 it will give plus 1 so in the same manner plus and minus all the values will be retained after multiplication friends for more such videos you can uh, subscribe my channel engineering made 
easy and please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it for more detailed information you can visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com its link is given in the description of this video you can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video till then bye bye